Hi, this is David Healy at LibraWave. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install an instrument within Rhapsody. So there are two methods, and I'm going to show you both. And I'm going to log in. So I'll just enter my username, password, and click Login. OK, so Rhapsody syncs with the server just to get the details of any products that I've bought. And there are two ways to install instruments within Rhapsody. We can either use the integrated downloader and installer, and that only works if we've logged into Rhapsody, or we can use the manual installer, and that also works in offline mode. So I'm going to show you both methods. So we'll start by using the integrated downloader and installer. So I'm going to install Bell and Bone. We'll click this download button here. And then we need to choose a location to install the samples. You probably want to put them on an SSD or a dedicated drive, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to install them on my desktop. So I'll click open and click install. And now it's verified our license. In this case, a license isn't required because Bell and Bone is a free library. And it's downloaded the samples and installed the library. Now we can see it's placed the samples on my desktop like I asked it to. We can do the same thing with Emerald Flute. So again, it's remembered the last location I used, which was my desktop. So all I have to do is click install. And it's placed the samples on my other screen. I'll just drag those across so we can see there's the folder for Emerald Flute samples. OK, let's uninstall Emerald Flute now. So we'll just click on that and click uninstall. And I'll show you the manual method. So we need to go to the LibraWave website. And we need to log into our account. And we need to verify that we're human. OK, and then once we're in our account, we go to the Library tab. And here's all the products that we have licenses for. And uh, we can see Bell and Bone shows up in there as well. But we're going to go with Emerald Flute. And we need to download the data and the samples. So we'll click download on that and download on that one. OK, now we don't need the website anymore for this, but we do need our downloads folder. So there's our downloads folder, and we can see we've got the samples here and the data. So these are actually just zip files. They have an LWZ extension, but they're exactly the same as a zip file. And Within Rhapsody, we go to Add Product, Manual Install. And now we have to select one of these LWZ files. It doesn't matter which one, but let's open our file browser. And we'll go to our Downloads folder. So it doesn't matter which file we select, but they both must be in the same folder so that Rhapsody can find the matching file. So if you've got the data here, you need to have the samples here as well. So then click Open. Got it there. Then click Next. Now again, we need to choose a location to install the samples. I'm going to leave it pointing to my desktop, but you should put it in a more sensible location. And then hit Install. And that's it. The library's installed. And the samples are here on the desktop. We can have a look in the Samples folder. So those are the samples for this library. And if we go back to my Downloads folder, now that we've installed the library, we can delete these files, or you can keep them if you want to. Perhaps you want to install it on another computer as well. You can just transfer these files across to another computer and install from there. So it's up to you, but you don't have to keep them. They're not needed in order to use the instrument. So that was how to install an instrument in Rhapsody. Thank you very much for watching.